Hey guys, this is Peroxide, and this is guide to stats about Death Knights to get a better understanding because there's two builds and depending on what you play and what you have uh, it's gonna change. So you have two builds here. You can play either with Castigator or Unholy Frenzy depending on what kind of gear you have. If you have a lot of haste and mastery and barely any crit then you should avoid playing like okay let me rephrase that if you have the wrists and you have a lot of haste and mastery and barely any crit then your optimal build is gonna be to play unholy frenzy with uh, shadow infusion so the build is gonna look like this um, so yeah that's the ideal if you have this is very pure single target damage based on a lot of uh, auto attacking because you're gonna be proccing a lot of sudden dooms when you proc your fissuring wounds your attack speed's gonna get increased so that's gonna even amplify the sudden doom procs by a lot uh, the problem why I don't play this build is because I see myself having too much runic power unspent to the fat to the point like where I can't even consume my sudden doom procs and I have so much runic power and we know that runes are much more valuable than runic power so yeah that's your main answer right there so we're gonna be playing castigator and infected claws uh, I'm also gonna mention if you do not have the wrists like for most like for all the bosses in emerald nightmare you should be playing all will serve you should be playing Pistol and Puzzles and you should be playing uh, Castigator without the wrists even uh, and Shadow Infusion instead of Infected Claws. You can switch between the two but if you don't have them and you have the uh, Double Doom trait this should be better. Um, one thing to look at is your stats. If you're playing this build and you don't have the wrists your goal is to have as much crit as possible. You will jam all the crit possible. You will eat the crit food and all of the above. Uh, assuming that you have 18 or 19% haste, because that's the ma like that's the haste you want to have, and everything else goes into crit or mastery after that, because the scaling is just better that way. You will do more damage like that. Um, so in case you do have the wrists and you have like good gear, you're gonna play Bursting Source, Infected Claws. Uh, and uh, if you look at my build at the moment, I got 28% haste. I wish that haste, 10% of that haste would go into crit, which would make my Castigator much more viable. You need to keep in mind that Castigator benefits from two abilities, Scorch Strike and Fistering Strike which both whenever they crit they either add you more uh, fistering wounds or blow up two more fistering wounds so it all ramps up and it adds up a lot of damage uh, reasoning why playing infected claws is because I have so much haste I have no need for shadow infusion um, it also seems overall better for me right now because I just have high haste and I don't need to spend more time spamming death call because haste also gives you rune regeneration and I have plenty of that. Um, and even after I would still play infected claws because it's just a better talent. So um, the ideal stats you want for the castigator build is strength's always going to be your number one then you're gonna want to have as much crit as possible so like as much as you can get uh, haste until 18 19 percent you want to prior haste have being having haste 18 19 percent and then dump everything else into crit if that's like causing you any confusion about this stuff and then after we sorted uh, critical strike and haste we got mastery and versatility last so yeah that's pretty much about the stat weight um, I'm gonna talk about more about like what each of these stats do so mastery roughly like 
translates that all your shadow damage is gonna be increased by the value of the mastery not all your abilities uh, deal shadow damage but most of them like if you look at the score strike it does physical and shadow damage so the shadow damage part gets scaled up with the mastery fist ring deals physical damage it doesn't deal any shadow damage so um, having higher mastery does not amplify fist ring strike at all then uh, soul reaper is completely shadow damage that call is shadow damage and virulent plague is shadow damage so that should give you an idea the more mastery you have some of these abilities are gonna be scaled up fist ring wound is shadow damage so that's gonna be that's the main factor you want to look at the face ring wounds so they're gonna deal a lot more damage haste haste does uh like it increases your attack speed it increases your rune regeneration and most importantly it uh decreases the time before you can use your next ability as in global so because we know when we use an ability it has global cooldown the more haste you have uh, the last time you will wait before you can use your next ability so that's something to keep in mind then critical strike it's just gonna amplify the like let's say this ability hits for 240k the critical strike of this is gonna double it that's why it's called critical strike um, and versatility it increases your self-healing raw damage and decreases the damage taken uh, if you scroll over the tooltips most of the stuff is like given to you and you know about it so you can see by how much and where and what um, yeah I hope this helped you out like that you understand better what some of these stats do and what build you should be playing if you're unsure you can syncraft your own character and get the final results and uh, I hope this helps you out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Peace out.